Hello, I'm Danielle Stimson from Learn Reiki Philadelphia and Virgo. These are your cards for November of 2022. If you haven't already, I highly recommend you check out the overview video that's linked in the description. Uh, that will help you to see the astrology to give a lot of context to the cards that you see here. Additionally, check out your sun, moon, and rising signs for a more accurate view of your month ahead. So without any further ado, here's your cards. Okay, so this month, the first card up is the focus and it's temperance. Uh, what you've been through, what the losses you've incurred, things like that over the last, you know, few months. My goodness, it's it's been a while, hasn't it? <laughs> uh, basically, you've overall in this reading, we'll see that you've reached a point of not wanting to look beyond the loss. You've also kind of gotten into a bit of a rut, perhaps, in terms of black and white thinking. And overall, temperance is basically telling you, yes, it's valid. You have lost. this. The, the terrible things have happened. This is not a good thing. At the same time, if you stay within that mindset, it will only further the suffering that you have. It's the black and white thinking, the it's all or nothing, it'll always be that way. Uh, it was that way and that was terrible and it won't always be there that way unless you focus on things always being that way, in which case it's almost a self-fulfilling prophecy. And that's really what all of the cards kind of point to this month. Temperance is about validating the things that you've survived and you've been through and the losses you've incurred along with opportunities to do new things, try new things, meet new people, uh, and finding a balance and harmony within those two things. It is really paradoxical. It is almost cruel at some points to even think about seeing the, si the shinier side of things, but uh, thinking of uh, the way I've always thought is the way it will always be and not going back to search what's at the core of our beliefs. It, it could lead us down a, a pretty dark personal path. So temperance is all about kind of bringing that, that pain into the light and trying to find some semblance of balance within validating what's happened and leaving room for something different in the future. The card that represents how you enter the month is the moon in reverse. The moon card is, it definitely validates what you've been through. Here it is in reverse. The moon is about going through choppy seas to hopefully find the calmer waters, but the only way out is through. It's a, it's a pathway of going through difficult times to find what's at the other end. It's a, almost like a Dorothy's travel down the yellow brick road. She didn't know what she was going to or even where she was going to end up, but she had to go and traverse this really potentially dangerous and fraught time in order to get out of where she was. So this is where you're finding yourself just kind of stuck, not wanting to see beyond where you are and not wanting to travel any further to get to what could potentially be better because you're just in a lot of pain. Uh, the challenge for this month is the Five of Cups. Five of Cups is the kind of don't cry over spilled milk card, but it's a lot more spiritual than that. Uh, he is focused on his losses, particularly the emotional and heart-centered loss, the heartbreak of it. Behind him are two cups that are still full. He's not noticing what he still has. He's not noticing what could help ease the sense of loss is right there behind him. This is a mundane card of how we show up every day. So I would say reaching out to people you love and care about and starting there. Uh, but yeah, it's it's got to be some as much of a daily practice as you can to start. Yes, grief has its place, absolutely. And if we're not 
also looking at what we have and the good things to we're only going to ever see that loss. So that's the challenge is trying to get beyond and and to see that there all is not lost. The what do I do next? What are my next steps? That is the seven of coins. Um, that actually came up in reverse. The seven of coins in general is about looking at, and this has been a card that's come up for a lot of folks. Chances are in your sun, moon, and rising, you've seen this at least one more time. This is definitely like a card of the month for a lot of us, whether it's upright or reversed. The seven of coins is usually about taking stock um, and seeing what we need to make changes of, but also knowing that the efforts we have put out will come to fruition soon. So it's sort of like a, a chance to kind of recalibrate and see how we can make it better or learn our lessons for the next season. When it's in reverse like this, what it's basically saying is it's lost. It's all lost. I, I have no power in this. And you need to, you know, where it's coming up in the where to go from here is to start to look at the fine details of what has been lost yes there has been loss and only focusing on it was somebody else's fault it was this that and the other it's not going to get you anywhere different in the future uh, so where do you go from here you have to shift your perspective and take a little bit more of a look at what you need to do to go forward to have what you want like okay you're here this sucks and from here, where do we go? What do we still have left that we can possibly do to salvage this harvest that we have coming up? So that's where do you go from here? Uh, the whisper from your guides kind of card is the four of cups. And this can be a card that would be, it's, it's very much in keeping with the other cards that you had. Usually it's a kind of okay, I've got enough, but I, they're not, I'm not very fulfilled. Uh, here, the message that's coming in is a little bit more positive. It's, uh, if you're willing to take that time, look within and see the cups that you do have, rather than just saying like, they're not what I wanted. I wanted that. If you rather take a shift and say, okay, but this is what I do have. And I have more than I maybe thought I did. That you will find lots of new opportunities, lots of new people, relationships, and ways forward to shift. Yes, it wasn't what you set out for. Yes, there's been loss. And there, the more work you do to help allow yourself to embrace change and undo maybe some old patterns and things and kind of transform with this rather than just simply being buried by it, the more opportunity you have. You you have more than you think you do. Best embrace it and see where you're at. Grief, yes, has its place and you can still grieve. And grief also has a, a timeline through. Moving through that will help you. And so hopefully that will help you through the rest of November. And I know it's not easy, Virgo, but it can get better. And I hope that it does. So with that, I hope you have the best possible November. Definitely remember to check out the overview because I think it may shed a lot of light on your circumstance as well as the sun, moon, and rising signs. Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to make sure that you get December's cards. Uh, and thank you so much for watching.